Examine the elbow while the patient is standing with both arms exposed to the shoulder, arms relaxed, palms facing forward. In this position, the normal elbow has a slight valgus angle termed the carrying angle. Inspect all aspects of the elbow for gross deformity, redness, and swelling. Gently feel for warmth and to detect subtle swelling. Compare your findings to the unaffected side if necessary. Then palpate for tenderness over the bones, the lateral epicondyle, medial epicondyle, and the olecranon. These three structures should form an equilateral triangle when viewed end-on. Then palpate soft tissues adjacent to the bones. Palpate the extensor tendons starting from the lateral epicondyle and then the flexor tendons starting from the medial epicondyle. Move the elbow through a complete range of motion, including extension and flexion, and pronation and supination. Record any limitation of motion. If necessary, compare range of motion to the unaffected side. If patient's symptoms permit, do provocative testing for instability and tendinopathy. Test for instability by stabilizing the humerus with one hand and using the other hand to apply valgus and then varus stress. To test for lateral epicondylitis, known as tennis elbow, have the patient extend the elbow and then extend the long finger against resistance. Pain in the lateral epicondyle and extensor tendons indicates lateral epicondylitis. To test for medial epicondylitis, known as golfer's elbow, have the patient extend the elbow and then flex the wrist against resistance. Pain in the medial epicondyle and flexor tendons indicates medial epicondylitis.